Hey guys. hey guys, I'm Nikki, and I'm Gabby, and, and we're, we're Nikki, Nikki and Gabby, Gabby Beauty from here on YouTube. So you must be wondering why we look like a bunny and a kitten. Yeah, just because we felt like it, because this is a Halloween themed video, and we're going to tell you guys some pretty weird slash funny stories, and scary stories. So this is basically story time with Nikki and Gabby Halloween themed, um, and we're just going to tell you some stories involving previous Halloween that we think you guys would think are entertaining. Yeah. <laughs> and also paranormal stories that me and Gabby have experienced. So which story should we tell first? Yeah. Probably last Halloween. That's a good story to start Speaking out. Speaking of last Halloween, I was a bunny for last Halloween. And these are the ears I was wearing on yep. this night. <laughs> <laughs> okay. okay. So should I start it out? Gabby yeah, start or I'll just give them a heads up of where I was. So if you guys don't if you guys don't know our living arrangements last year um, I was a freshman in college and I was living in a dorm and Gabby was living at home and she was living in her room here at home. <laughs> okay, so that's just like the little background info. So basically I was at school, it was a Friday after school and I was doing all my friends hair and makeup to go out for Halloween and this was what was happening with Gabby. She was getting ready here to go out with my friends for Halloween but she was getting ready with Brandon here and Brandon is her boyfriend if you don't know. So Brandon and I were getting ready here and we were in my room and no one else was home. Like obviously I was the bunny and I was doing like my little like nose and whatever and I literally remember squiggling like the eyeliner like trying to make a whisker because we both were startled by this noise in the kitchen downstairs. It was just like it sounded like someone dropped knives on the ground or something <laughs> and we freaked out because like no one else was home and of all sounds it sounded like silverware or something was being dropped so we're like okay someone's definitely in the house and okay no no hate on brandon i mean he could have <laughs> acted more <laughs> like a like a man but we were both so scared we didn't know what to do like he we both were like okay should we go downstairs no like no neither of us wanted to go downstairs so we we're like okay let's just book it to the door because there's stairs right outside my room. We'll just book it to the door. Like, they're right next to the stairs is the door. So instead of just checking what that was, or instead of checking the house, we both booked it to the door. And as we were running, we were like freaking out. And then like we ran outside and we're like dialing like the password to lock the house. And like we went outside and we hopped in his car and took off to our college. Yeah. To go to so they took dorm. off to come to my dorm. So here I'm in the middle of doing my friend's hair and makeup for Halloween and then all of a sudden my phone starts going off and, and I'm doing their makeup so I'm like, okay, I'm not gonna answer it, it's whatever. And where I got to my college, I was doing all my friend's hair and makeup, my phone was going off, and then I finally answer it and I'm like, Gabby, what is going on? What why are you calling me nonstop? And she was like, Nikki, there's somebody in the house or a ghost or something. We heard this huge noise. Me and Brandon didn't even have time to you did you not even grab your costume? If they literally just booked it out and didn't even grab their costumes to come to my school, obviously there was like something in the house. So Jerry finds out about all this because he's there and all my friends are listening and Jerry's like, you know what? I'm gonna go and I'm gonna go see what's wrong. At this point my parents were on the phone calling Gabby and Brandon because they were calling them and everyone didn't know what was wrong so Jerry's like, okay look, I got it. I will go see what this issue is and Jerry goes, <laughs> breaks into our house because they locked the whole thing, which I don't know why you locked it. But yeah, Jerry, there was someone like a murderer downstairs. Like that means like yeah. people living in the house. So Jerry like broke into our house and looked in every room, and he was on the phone with my dad. And basically, there was a, the moral of the story was Gabby and Brandon are idiots. There was nothing, nothing in the house. So that whole big story, couple, that yeah. whole big story. So then Jerry just gets their costumes, goes back, and we have a good time. The next story we're gonna tell, we're gonna go from funny to scary. And for those of you who are ready for a scary story, listen up. Okay, so this is a story my mom actually tells everybody. My mom was sleeping on this old side of the house at the time. And this was when all our rooms were on the old side of the this house. This is before the addition. This so is before yeah. this room Everything was even made. Everything was all on the old side of the house. So basically, my mom and dad were going to bed, and they this was after they tucked us all in bed. We were both like five or six, and my little brother was like three or four. We were all really little, and our parents tucked us in bed, and they were getting ready for bed, and they were, and then my mom kept hearing children laughing, 
and she thought we were awake and her and my dad were like, oh, the kids are still awake, like they thought it was funny. And then my mom wakes up in the middle of the night to children still laughing. And she was like, okay kids, you need to go to bed. And she gets up and she's about to go yell at us all because it's like three in the morning and we all should be in bed because what five and six year olds and three year olds are up at three in the morning. Mm -hmm. So my mom is gets up, she thought it sounded like she said it sounded like we were right outside the door and then she thought it was the weirdest thing when she walked out and there was no one outside the door. But then she was like, hmm, they might be in Anthony's room or we little used to brother. Pull, like a lot of pranks on our parents when we were little. So she thought it was like some practical joke. Yeah. And then she went all the way downstairs because it's coming from the dining room below her room. And she's in the dining room, the laughing stops but that's where the noise is coming from and none of us were down there, we were all sound asleep. And she checked all our rooms before she went to the dining room and we were all asleep, sound asleep actually. She She's said we were snoring, so. And I hate hearing this story because I'm like, wow. That's in our house. If there's a ghost in this house, like they don't leave. One more paranormal activity is caught on video in one of our YouTube videos in the Gabby and Brandon Bean Boozled Challenge on our channel. Um, we'll link it down below and put a snippet right here so you guys can see it and we'll keep replaying it. Like me right there. Uh oh, I'm getting some sock now. Really? Nah, I got you. Oh. <laughs> I'll eat the tip. Don't worry about that. Uh -huh. I'll eat the tip. Uh -huh. I'll eat the tip. Don't. <laughs> so we didn't notice this par paranormal activity until you guys commented you guys on it. it out and. I like at the time I thought it was completely normal for like that frame to fall like that But if you watch, watch it, it, it was put it looks like it was knocked down because it was tilted against my mantle this way So how could it just flip, flip down, down, down or in that way and it got like twisted it, down It was really weird. It's mind blown and it freaks me out because it was my room so. yeah. <laughs> But we don't want this video to drag on and on we just thought we'd share you guys some Halloween, spooky, funny, paranormal stories for you guys. Make sure to comment down below which story was, was your, your favorite. favorite. And it, also comment below any funny, scary, or Halloween related stories that you guys have because we love reading. We love reading your comments nice. and it'll just set everybody in the Halloween mood. Also give this video a thumbs up for more beauty and fashion videos on Awesomeness TV. And if you haven't done so already, make sure to subscribe to Awesomeness TV. And, and our channel, Nikki and Gabby Beauty. Beauty. See you guys next time. Bye. Bye.